Hello, my name is Steven and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the new beta display advertising. Um, <clears throat> I run an agency and we help people with their advertising. If you need help, go to myamazonguy.com and you can hire us. Um, <clears throat> so this is a brand new program. Um, this is on my uh, side hustle account, Momster. And so far, I've spent 57 bucks, generated 37 back, so the campaign is upside down, which is very common with a new beta program. So I've been running this since uh, for about four days now. Um, and uh, sales have a two-day delay on attribution. So this program actually might be looking a lot more stronger than this. So anytime you run a new advertising campaign, make sure you're always looking at it in seven-day snapshots and uh, usually review it on day nine for that seven day snapshot so that you don't make any too abrupt pausing of campaigns. Um, <clears throat> all right, so with that said, what, what am I talking about? What is display? So if we go to the campaign manager and we hit uh, create campaign here, there are three types of advertising campaigns currently in Seller Central. There's sponsored products, sponsored brands, and sponsored display. I'm gonna be focusing on sponsored display, but a lot of you are gonna have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to Amazon.com. I'm just going to simply type in Momster, and I'm going to show you some examples. Uh, well, bad examples here. So let's just type in funny wine glass and see what comes up. All right, so on the very top here, this is a sponsored brand, and that takes up the headline, if you will. So if you click any one of these, that will charge him probably about a dollar. Um, next is sponsored products. These are sponsored products. They are just simply a one-off, very comparable to Google Shopping, um, if you look in Google. And these are one-to-one. -one. If we were looking at an, uh, uh, a marketing funnel, a sponsored product is at the very bottom of the funnel. Most users cannot even tell the difference between uh, an ad and an organic listing here. Now, this one has three sponsored ads right here and then followed by some organic ones. So, um, and this one's, this one's mine right there. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so, so headline ad or sponsor brand, sponsor product, and then finally display. So I'm not going to show you any examples of this because it's actually off of Amazon. So they're going to take pretty much similar aspect of how this would look like a product display ad, but they're going to show it in display. Um, and you can see uh, see it off of Amazon. So it says here, re-engage shoppers off of Amazon who have viewed your product or similar products and drive them to your detail pages. So the, the, the preview, I'll show you a preview of what this could look like. And you'll notice I've got all my products involved here. And let's see if it shows me the preview. It may not actually show me the preview here. This is the, this is the thing when you do a beta video testing, you can't always show everything right you know, on the fly. All right, so I'm going to go through the motions of creating a new one because I do believe it shows a preview here. So I'm just going to call this beta test and call it beta test again for display. Um, come through, I'm just going to add a random product and put $2 bids. It, it does not show a preview what this looks like. Interesting. All right, well, <clears throat> in any case, I believe it will look very similar to what this product display ad looks like right here, but it will show off of Amazon and it will take people who have been to your product pages before and bring them back. That's the goal of the campaign. Now, a couple of notes here. The display budget, I would recommend if you're going to test this, let's say you spend, uh, let's say you spend less than $2,000 a month on advertising today, I would spend no more than $10 a day on this test for this particular campaign. If you spend more than that, you could figure out a budget that makes sense. Um, I would put somewhere between five to 10% of your, your current total advertising spend in display, no more than that. Um, and you know, test it out, make sure it works for you. And there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, uh, the bids. The default bid on this is $2. Now you can do whatever you want with this, but I, I tested this out at $0.55 cents and couldn't get any impressions. I tested it at $1.55, still couldn't get any impressions. You really have to bid pretty high on this. So a $2 bid plus is probably necessary. So if your items are selling for under 20 bucks, that's going to be brutal on the cost per click to make it work. But it is still worth testing. Um, so I, I definitely recommend it, but be cautious. Don't put a lot of money into this yet. So with all things that when they're first um, when they first come into fruition, especially with the beta programs, they typically don't do too hot. So 
So here's my theory right now. We've got sponsored products at the bottom of a marketing funnel. That means that's when the user is most likely to make a purchase. We've got sponsor brands, which are at the top of the funnel. Um, I would put less than 5% of your ad budget in sponsored brands. Um, now, if you're spending 20 grand a month or more on advertising, you probably want to be more like 15% in sponsored brands. But if you're under 2K a month, 5% tops. You may not even want to do it at all. Um, ACOS is significantly higher on sponsored brands, and it's more about brand exposure than it is actual sales. Um, and then finally, sponsored display. I don't know where I want to peg this on the marketing funnel. It could be low on the funnel because they've already been to your pages and they might be ready for that, that purchase decision. So it's probably closer to the bottom of the marketing funnel, but it very well may be higher than sponsored products, um, but definitely not as high as sponsored brands. So sponsored brands is about awareness. Sponsor products is about sales, and sponsor display is about returning that user who'd seen your product to hopefully generate a sale. So retargeting, historically speaking, as a marketing technique is typically very effective. The question is, is Amazon good at retargeting, and can they do it at an effective price, and will they bring the right user back to convert, and have they given us the segmentation that we need to make all that happen? That's what I don't know for sure at this stage. Um, so when anything rolls out like this, I always recommend small tasks, see how it goes. Now, advertising management is the number one service we offer at My Amazon Guy. So if you are ready to take your campaign to the next level, you can go to MyAmazonGuy.com and check us out. We, uh, we can come in and help boost your advertising results. We'll do a keyword research for you. Um, we'll set up campaigns, highly segmented campaigns, and all of these different strategies. About six campaigns just on the sponsor products alone because we segment everything out and we measure those results. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the, uh, the comments of the video.